and welcome back to drinks with dan and the adventures in home bartending today we are not home bartending but camping with our cocktail kit the gin smash now i'm honestly not looking forward to this one if it's anything like the um other one that we did yeah that martini was god awful so we'll see we'll try it out because always try everything once and twice if you like it so with that uh, everything's in here just like the other one we got some sugar basil the recipe and a spoon so all we need is the uh, gin for it and I have my nice little vial of uh, my Roku gin because you guys know I have to use the Roku so hopefully it'll make it taste better if not and if it is horrid I got some dad fuel this will uh, <laughs> clean that palette off real quick so let's go ahead and get into this without further ado and ooh, I mean it looks cool of course we got our little ingredients two ounces of gin one cube of sugar quarter teaspoon bait hmm so this will be interesting <laughs> Okay, and a, a sugar cube and water. Okay, well, I don't know about the water. So I guess this is our basil. <sighs> and we got some sugar cubes. Let's see what else. Got another sugar cube here. And it, it does come in this nice little tidy thing. All right. And our spoon. I guess maybe this is how we measure. Yeah, we'll just go with that, I guess. <laughs> uh, mix of, yeah. So let's do this. All right. Um, mm, water, water, water. I do not have any water, though. So we're going to go ahead and, you know what? Give me one second. Let me grab some water. All right, we got some water. Because I want to get this done right, so that way I give it a fair judgment. So, mix a mini spoonful of the basil extract with water and sugar. Basil, yep. Uh, add your gin and ice, but we're camping, so there's no ice. So, let's just go ahead and do this. And mix this. Oh, ho, ho. Mm. Wow. It doesn't smell awful. Actually, it almost smells like absinthe. Yeah. Let's just go with it. All right, so we got that. Now we need a teaspoon. So if that's a quarter teaspoon. So let's just do four of these. throw one cube of sugar at least the sugar looks good pop that in there let's just smash that up yeah that is really does just smell like absinthe right now which I happen to like the black licorice so we'll see what happens that is just not wanting to de dissolve at all so we might just have a really sugar forward drink later on mm. well, let's go ahead and add our gin Oh man. 
And there it is. Give it another stir. But it's mostly dissolved. Not too bad. Let's give this gin smash a try. Hmm. Okay, this one actually smells good, so. Okay, it's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. Would I drink it again? Or even buy these again? I mean, I'm camping, so that's actually, I mean, it's good. I don't know how long these things last. Uh, end of the world scenario. Yeah, sure, you got a whole uh, thing of liquor cabinet full of alcohol, but none of the extra stuff. Yeah, I could see... Uh, See that being okay. But uh, just for every day, no. <laughs> Definitely not. So let's go ahead and get some of this dad fuel. And if you're wondering, it's the old Forester. Mm. Oh, now that's good. Ooh. All right. Well. I gotta get back to the family and the camping, so you guys take care. Next time I will be back in the Fallout Lounge with another video. So until then, keep learning, creating, and drinking. And I'll see you guys on the next one.